kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel from this video we'll be starting a new chapter in economics of gst that is that comes under unit 2 that is fundamentals of gst the chapter name is gst structure in india in that let us see about the introduction part in this particular video gst structure in india gst is known as goods and service tax we already we are, by this time we are already familiar uh, with, with the whatever the videos we saw till now we are familiar about what is gst just i am doing a slight revision here goods and service tax it has it is an indirect tax it is an indirect tax it is not a direct tax which has replaced many indirect taxes in india so before gst came there were excise duty value added tax service tax etc so all this types of many indirect taxes have been replaced by gst gst structure in india is composed to the ideas based from the other countries having similar policies considering indirect taxation so other countries are also following similar type of tax uh, taxation system based on that what other countries are following even india has developed this gst gst another goods and service tax agirutte idana goods and services mele impose maartare idu ondu reetiya indirect tax agirutte ee gst barodukina munche nammalli halavaru indirect taxes galittu for example excise duty agirbodu vat agirbodu value added tax service tax agirbodu ee reethi aneka indirect taxes galu nam deshalittu gst ban mele aa ella tax galu seri single tax onde ondu tax agide adhe gst the goods and services act was passed in the parliament on 29th march 2017 and came into effect on 1st july 2017 so first it was passed in the parliament by both the houses on 29th march 2017 later on it came into effect on 1st july 2017 so e gst act anadu goods and service act anadu parliament alli 29th march 2017 pass agutte matte 1st july 2017 ge to effect anadu jari ge barutte so goods and service tax that is gst is levied on the supply of goods and services idana goods and services mele impose maartare So, goods and service taxes law in India is a comprehensive, multi-stage destination-based tax that is levied on every value addition. GST is a single domestic indirect tax law for the entire country. So, GST is a comprehensive, multi-stage means in each stage, whatever the value is added, only for that particular value the GST is applied and is a destination-based tax. So, who will pay GST? Only that person who will be Per, what you say the person who will the consumer who is purchasing the product will actually have to pay the gst only the end consumer if, if i have to say the very proper word the ultimate consumer is the payer of this gst tax so because gst will be paid by the ultimate consumer next now the gst tax tax structure is like this as we are able to see on the screen the primary gst structure is classified into three types of structures first one is yes uh, central gst that is cgst first one is what central gst means cgst second one is state gst the state gst is nothing but the yes gst or ut gst ut gst means union territories gst and igst is integrated gst integrated goods and service tax primary structure of gst na three rithiyalli vibhajaneyana maadidare yavudu adu three rithi anta andre first one is uh, central gst and the central government goods and central goods and service tax second one bandu s gst and the state gst athwa ut gst and the union territory goods and service tax third one bandu igst igst and the integrated goods and service tax now the central gst it is levied by the central government central gst na yaar impose maartare central government impose maartide central gst na 
So, state GST or UT GST is levied by that particular state or the particular union territories. Central GST at state GST in the sorry, union territory GST at state GST in the other aya on the particular state agibodo at the union territory galu impose madate. Next, IGST. IGST means it is an integrated goods and service taxes. It is actually levied by the state government. But whatever the tax it collects, it is apportioned, means proportionately divided between the center as well as the state. IGST and central government collect madadu, but later on the central government, the state government madarana different and proportionately adana divide markotare. This is about the primary uh, what do you say the tax structure. Next. These are the four types that is CGST, IGST, Integrated GST and UT GST. Now the Central GST that is CGST. It is levied by the central government on the intra-state supply of goods and services. Intra-state means within the particular state. Within that one particular state if any transactions or supply of goods and services happens then the CGST that is Central Goods, Central uh, goods and service tax which is levied by the central government will be imposed so the transaction value is defined as the price actually paid or payable for this set supply of the goods and services on what the value the tax will be levied means actual value or the price actually paid at whatever the amount the consumer is paid or whatever the amount the consumer has to pay on that value only the tax will be applicable even the central GST is the central government levy madate, impose madate. And the intrastate transactions. Intrastate transactions are within the state. One the Raja Tolgade, Ade Raja Tele supply, Ade Raja Tele sale adre. And the intrastate transactions at the Karitivi. Even the intrastate transactions ke CGST na hakalagatare. But the Yawun the value in a CGST na impose madare tande. Actual value paid. Customer Yawun the value na katir tano. Athava Yao on the amount of cut back aguto in payable. Aw on the value mere CGST na impose martare. State GST or SGST. It is imposed by the specific state government on the intra state sales and services or trade within the state. Similarly, so intra state sales means within the country, with, sorry, within the state. So when the transactions are held within the state, two the tax will be imposed. One is CGST also will be imposed, it is collected by the central government and second one is SGST, SGST will also be imposed and it will be collected by the specific or the respective state government. The revenue earned by the state government due to the SGST as the transactions occurred within the state. So whatever the SGST it is collected, the state will earn it and CGST whatever is imposed, the central government will actually earn it. So State GST and no, the SGST and no, with intrastate and the within the state as the RT on the transactions will impose matare. So similarly, CGST in a kuda hakare, eredu tax hakare, CGST mate, SGST. CGST tax in in birth as a central government togolate, SGST in birth as a state government togolate. Next. UT GST, that is Union Territory GST. UT union territory such as Chandigarh, instead of state government, the GST is collected by the central administration and referred as UT GST. Now we have many union territories in India where there is a central government rule. So, by, for example, here we have taken Chandigarh. Chandigarh is a union territory. So, whatever the GST imposed on Chandigarh will be collected by the central administration, that is central government. So, such type of tax is known as UT GST. So, e UT GST and the union territory GST. Nam Deshali Eston Union Territories, for example, Chandigarh. Chandigarh Ali Adiritya supplies Adrukuda on the tax in a yar collect matare, central administration or central government collect matate, either a UT GST and the heli, Kariti V. Next is integrated GST means IGST. It is collected by central government on the interstate transactions. Interstate transactions means between one state to another state. Means here two different states are involved. When two different states are involved, IGST, integrated goods and service taxes are collected. Now, 
center would lie with IGST. What is the IGST? Is nothing but the sum of CGST plus SGST on all interstate transactions of the taxable goods and services. This IGST is the integrated goods and service taxes. This is the central government collect. Yadru mele andre interstate andre vandu rajya dinna innondu rajya ke goods na supply maadi daga a ondu samyadalli IGST anna impose maadthare. So impose e IGST hegiru tenre it is a sum of CGST plus SGST. CGST plus SGST a ondu bele yen barathe adhani IGST anta karate vi. Next central taxes observed under CGST means it is means subsumed. That is central excise duty has been subsumed, additional excise duty, service tax, additional customs duty, special additional duty and central surcharges and cess. So these are all been observed under central uh, central taxes that are observed under GST. Now what are the state taxes observed under GST are the state value added taxes or environment tax, the luxury tax, taxes on lottery, betting and gambling, tax on advertisement, state cess or uh, surcharges uh, in the nature of taxes on goods and services. These are all the state taxes now which have been observed under the GST regime. So this is all about the GST tax structure in India as the introduction. So hope you have understood about this introduction part very well. If you have understood about the introduction part, please put in the comment box that you have understood. At the same time, if you have any queries or any doubts regarding any of the slide, please put your doubts in the a comment box will be happy to respond to your doubts as soon as possible so in my next video i'll come back with the different tax slabs in gst if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon button because whenever i make a new video you'll be able to get the immediate notification of my new lectures thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session Kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.